Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have t divided by square root of t is equals to 3 and we solve this problem for all the values of t. So here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards the solution of this problem. So here first we need uh, to move this square root of t from left hand side to the right hand side. So when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 3 and it will be written as t is equals to 3 times of square root of t. And now further in the next step, we need to remove this square root sign. So in order to remove this square root sign, we take squaring on both of the sides. So when we take squaring, it will be written as t squared equals to 3 times square root of t and its whole square. And now further in the next step, we need more simplifications and it will be written as t square is equals to here we need to apply the square separately on both of these two values and it will becomes t square is multiplied by square root of t and its whole square. And now further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as t square equals to this 3 square becomes 9 and this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here t only. And further in the next step uh, we move this uh, 9t from left hand from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as t square this is positive term becomes negative 9t and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here further you see that both of these two terms involve t so that we will be take common t from here and we get the remaining values are t times of t minus 9 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write t equals to 0 and the second case is we write t minus 9 is equals to 0. So this is the first root of the given equation and from here we get the value of t is equals to 9 and this is the second root of the given equation. So here we obtain these are the two roots of the given equation. And now here in the next step we need to verify that is these two roots be the solution or is these two roots be the extraneous root. So for verification of these roots, we need to copy down given question statement here and it is t divided by square root of t is equals to 3. And in this side we will be verified t equals to 0 and in this side we will be verified t is equals to 9. So here uh, uh, we substitute t equals to 0 into the left hand side and it will be written as so when you put this value here it will become 0 divided by square root of 0 is equals to 3 or not. So you see here 0 over square root of 0 becomes 0 over 0 form equals to 3. And you see here 0 over 0 form is usually called that it is the indeterminate form. Or if this is the indeterminate form uh, or in other words we say that it is undefined. So if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal this means that the value of t equals to 0 is not satisfied over a given question statement. So we call that t equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation. Okay. So this is the extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement. So uh, here further we move towards our second root and here we put t equals to 9 into the left hand side and it will be written as 9 divided by square root of 9 is equals to 3. So here you see that uh, square root of 9 becomes 3 is equals to 3 or not. This is the our claim and you see here this is 3 times 3 becomes 9 and we get easily 3 equals to 3. This shows that both of the sides are equal. It means that the value of t equals to 9 is satisfied over given question statement. So finally we have the solution set of this problem is t equals to 9. 
So t equals to 9 be the solution set and t equals to 0 be the extraneous root. And uh, this is the final conclusion uh, of the first method. And now we again solve this problem from second method. So for this, we need uh, to copy down uh, our given question statement here. So that our given question statement is t divided by square root of t is equals to 3. So this is the our given question statement and here uh, we use uh, a nice uh, rule of square root. You know about that. Now if we have a number that is a, we write this a as square root of a multiplied by square root of a. Okay. Uh, because square root of a multiplied by square root of a remains a only. So in this, uh, in according to this rule, we write this t as in this form. Uh, so we first rewrite our given equation as square root of t multiplied by square root of t divided by square root of t is equals to 3. Here we break this t in this form. Okay. And now further in the next step, this square root of t and this square root of t are cancelled out by each other and we obtain square root of t is equals to 3. And now further in the next step, we need to remove this square root uh, from here. In order to remove this square root, we need to take squaring on both of the sides. And when we apply squaring, it will be written as in this form. This two and this square root are gone. And we get here t is equals to, this is the three square and three square becomes here nine. And this is the value of t. So here we obtain this is the value of t and that is t equals to nine. So this is the only one root of the given equation uh, which we get here but in the first method uh, we uh, also get uh, or we also verify that this value of t is satisfied over given question statement. So here finally we conclude about that the solution set of this problem is t equals to 9. This is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.